Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here from uh, How to Record Podcasts over at www.howtorecordpodcasts and of course the uh, the main show Geekazine over at www.geekazine.com and today I'm answering a question a friend of mine, Sean, he asked you know, I, I want to record a podcast but you know, I don't have I, I, I can get some audio software but I also have some video software that I've been I made a couple of home movies with, and I was wondering, could I use those sub pieces of software to actually record a podcast? And and the answer simply is, yeah, you can actually do it. There is some software that that's not as easy to work around, and then there's software that you can uh, you can put together podcasts and intros and outros and all that other stuff. Today we're going to take a look at one piece of software. We'll go through three or four pieces of softwares in this video series. The first one we're going to look at is a very popular software uh, by Adobe. It's called Adobe Premiere Pro. And there's a lot of good advantages for Premiere Pro in, in making video. And I've used it to, to uh, do some of our CES videos, do some of uh, some of my own videos in iPad 365 and GeekSmack and all that other stuff. So it, it's a great way to actually do that. So we're going to show you this piece of software. We're also going to, I'm also going to show you how to use Music Studio, how to use Garage, or I'm sorry, iMovie, not GarageBand. GarageBand's already an audio file, but iMovie, you can use all of those pieces of software to actually create a podcast. They, they, they go through it pretty easily. So we're going to start with Adobe Premiere Pro. Now I have version 5.5. The latest version is six. And of course you can get it off of the cloud and you can pay. I think it's like a, it's like ten dollars a month or fifty dollars a month. Um, I don't get it, uh, so I don't have the uh, I don't have the cloud subscription because I have a physical version right here. So here's how it works. Basically, I set up a very basic scene, and what you would do is you you would uh, create a new scene. We'll just uh, we'll kind of do that really quick once I find where my mouse is. Um, you be, you could go up to uh, file and new. You could do a new project. And you can set up everything, whether you're recording, what type of audio you're recording into, what type of video you're recording into. Because in all reality, you could hook up a webcam and actually do a recording like this and then process it out as an MP3 if you wanted to. So, But basically, I just set up a quick sequence uh, and went through that. And I'm going to show you a couple pieces here. First of all, I'm going to show you this piece right here. If my mouse will, there we go. Right here is uh, where all the audio tracks are going to be set. As you can see, I did a few tests here. And then, of course, I have my intro and outro music, which is sitting right here. Um, I've got the volumes low, so you cannot hear it. But just to be on the safe side, I'm actually going to mute this track because I you know, I don't want it to echo through. And all of a sudden, you you get a headache because you just heard this this big echo from me. So, so anyway... Um, uh, this is how the uh, the Premiere Pro opens. You have this video area, which in all reality, if you're not going to use it, you could shrink it down to almost nothing. And then you'd have room for your, your uh, files. And of course, you have room for your workspace. Over here, you have effects uh, and uh, your media browser if you've got some files that you want to put into. Um, and uh, history if you uh, need to see Oh, I need to go back to this part right here. You can click on that and go from there. So we're going to leave it at effects, and we're going to shrink that up a little bit more so we get more of this space right here, and that's basically your workspace. Normally, you'll see when you open up uh, Premiere Pro, you'll actually see three video uh, frames, and you can always go up and, and you can always add another video track or actually even right-click here and, uh, and say, I want to add a video track which is not working. But uh, the, the whole point is that you can actually add another video track if you wanted to. I actually removed the video tracks that are here so we can focus on the audio tracks, which is what we're going to do. Now, we're going to unhighlight this video because, of course, we're not going to use the video. We've got... I What I did was I put in a couple... The intro and outro music for this. So basically, I, I imported it through uh, through the importer, the browser, and found the file, and then just basically, that's just a drag and drop process, as you can see right there. So we're not going to drag it in, of course, and uh, and and go from there. So basically, I've got here. It's about we've got about a two and a half minute podcast that I will do. What I am going to do is I'm going to take audio number one, 
And this is where I'm going to do my recording. Now, this is also perfect because if you have a multi-track input device, maybe a FireWire mixer or something like that, and you've got your audio, and then, of course, you got a Skype audio on Audio 2, you can actually set these up as separate channels. Now, to do that, what you want to do is you want to go over to your preferences, and you want to make sure that your audio is set up. So we're going to go over to audio in the preference. And, of course, this is going to be slightly different if you're on Mac. And we're going we're gonna to see the audio. It basically says that uh, if it asks us what type of audio we're going to mix, um, if we're going to mix 5.1, which we can certainly do, but if you don't want to do it, you don't have to do the audio in 5.1. Audio hardware is where we're going to be. Um, in Windows, it's just the generic sound driver, but we want to set up the input here. So I'm, I'm clicking on that button, and that brings us to where we can do a line in, the microphone, and SPDIF, other, other uh, options. If we've got a USB microphone, we can use that as well. But I chose line in, and of course, uh, down here we've got a buffer size, which is at 2048. It really depends on what your computer can handle. So we'll just leave it right there as the default, and, we'll, and I'll hit cancel, but hit OK, so your changes will be made. Um, you can also do audio output mapping if you want to, if you need to hear things in, in one speaker or another, especially if you're doing 5.1 surround um, podcasting, if that is something that interests you. And, and then probably some podcasts will start to get into that eventually. But for now, not, not as much, and that's not what I do. So, All right, so now we have, let's go back to the screen here. You've got the screen, you've got your audio track, we're going to do audio one, that's where the vocal is going to come in, and then of course this is where the intro and outro music is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here, and I set this up as uh, the audio mixer podcast. We, as you can see, we're going, to, we're going to slide this out completely. You'll have the audio tracks, I have four audio tracks, so we'll see four audio tracks here, and then of course the master. So I can uh, I can set this up to read, to latch, to touch, to write. Uh, leaving it where it is is fine. I can adjust the uh, panning on it, and of course I can set it up uh, as a uh, as a solo track, uh, muted track, and arm for record. We can set the unity if we want to, and then down here we have the master track. If we had different types of tracks or different types of mixing over here, that would be different. So we'll leave that alone. But we will press this. It's an able track for recording. It's a little uh, it's a little microphone button. As you can see, a little box pops up before there and, and says, well, what do you want? Well, I only have one input here, so that's the line in. And so I chose that. And now I'm ready to actually record. And I can actually record the podcast from here. So we're gonna we're gonna zip this down a little bit so you can see this area. And this is where you're going to do your podcast. So when you're ready to record, all you have to do is arm it for record. So you'll hit the record button and then go over here to the play and start your podcast. And like I said, we're not going to hear the intro music or the outro music, but it'll go something like this. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the podcast. My name is Jeffrey Powers. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys, thanks a lot for listening. We are here over at How to Record Podcasts, showing you how to record a podcast using Premiere Pro. It's an actually a very easy thing to do and it has a lot of great features as the counterparts uh, in, in Adobe um, uh, that you can use to actually record audio if you want to. We've got a lot of great presets, we've got a lot of great audio transitions and effects that we can use from there. So this has been that podcast. Thank you very much for watching and listening. My name is Jeffrey Powers. You guys take care. And of course, I'll hit the stop button. And as you can see, the audio just uh, just came up here and, and we'll stretch it out a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. So we have the audio track here. Now we have our, our intro and our outro. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to reshape the outro to kind of fit into, into, the, uh, into the music here. So now we've got a full track here on audio and we've, we've unarmed. So we'll unarm it for recording. We'll hit the reply, uh, the go back button, and I'm going to play it here. So let me turn up the volume, and you can hear how this went.
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the podcast. My name is Jeffrey Powers. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys, thanks a lot for listening. We are here over at How to Record Podcast, showing you how to record a podcast using Premiere Pro. It's an actually a very easy thing to do, and it has a lot of great features as the counterparts uh, in, in Adobe um, uh, that you can use. All right, so that is basically how that works. So I'm... Uh, it was a little bit distorted because I didn't really check on the levels too much, so I apologize for that. And uh, at the beginning, you didn't hear it because I muted the first track. So I unmuted the first track, and of course, now you've got the podcast as well. Um, would you use this on a regular basis? Uh, probably not. It would probably get too bulky, to, but... In all reality, if that's the only piece of software you have, and let's say, or uh, just uh, just the other day I had some software not working right, and I was thinking of actually moving the show to another piece of software so I could get it done until I could figure out the problems for that first piece of software. Something like that gives that the opportunity to actually use this for uh, for podcasting and go from there. There's a lot of great effects over on on uh, Premiere Pro. Uh, you get some basic effects over in the in the effect area. You can also purchase more effects, audio transitions, audio effects. So if you want to sound like you're gurgling away in water or if you want to sound uh, you got a compression there, there's a dynamics thing in here so I could go into the audio transitions and I'm sorry the audio effects and I could find I think it's called dynamics so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to there it is right there dynamics and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag it over to my track and let go and now I go over to effect controls and I'm going to say custom setup where I'm actually going to see something more visual. And uh, from there I can adjust. I'm going to have to change this a little bit. And I can, I can adjust a gate. I, can, I have a compressor and I have an expander and a limiter in this. So as the audio was too hot, I can actually tone it down. And the cool thing about Adobe is when you start toning down the levels, the audio levels... Um, it'll actually tone it down for you. So it doesn't, for some reason, it doesn't, it has some way to set it up so it never clips a track unless the track is just way too hot and there's just no way to uh, to uh, avoid the clipping. So, uh, so I could put that in and actually uh, tone down my vocals and then tone down the overall vocals and then put it out as a podcast. Now, when I go to get it ready for podcast, let's just say it's all done. I can go up here to uh, export if I want to, and I can say export media. And that brings up a new screen. There it is. And then I say, I only want to export audio. So there's a little checkbox here that says export video. No, I just want to export audio. And the format that I want to do it in, I just want to do an MP3. So there's an MP3 right there. And I can say podcast.mp3. Over here, uh, you want to say entire sequence. So it catches the whole thing. And then when it's ready to export, you just hit the export button. And, of course, it's going to go through the encoding process. In this case, will be pretty quick. And it'll export it somewhere on my hard drive. says podcast.mp3. And that's the file. That's basically it. That's how you can take Adobe Premiere Pro and use it for podcasting. Now, we're going to also show you how to use uh, how to use iMovie to actually export a podcast. It's pretty same thing. Uh, and then of course over on the Windows side, there's a uh, program called Sony Music. Uh, or I'm sorry, Sony Movie Maker uh, Platinum, and uh, of course Acid Movie Maker Platinum. That uh, both of these uh, pieces of software will make movies, and you can also turn around and make MP3s. When I do my iPad 365 show, I use that software a lot for that. And then, of course, I turn around and, and turn it into an MP3 as much as an MP4. I hope this uh, helps you understand a little bit more on how you can actually make podcasts using software that you already have. You don't need to invest in new software. Of course, there's free software out there as well if you really want to get into podcasting. Um, or if your podcast software is not working the way that you want it, you can actually put your podcast into a new area and see if it works a little bit better there. 
My name is Jeffrey Powers. If you've got any questions, my Twitter handle is Geekazine. Think Magazine, put in a geek. Of course, Record a Podcast is also the Twitter handle for how to record podcasts. You can always contact me there. And of course, geekazine at gmail.com. That does it for this episode. And uh, thanks a lot for watching. Once again, like I said, watch out for the next video, which will I'll show you how to use Sony Music Studio to actually record podcasts. Until then, take care.